Upfront summary, the XP Pen Artist 12 has great screen quality, better than competitors Gaomon PD-1560 and the Huion Canvas GT-191, but it's small! This video shows you how to set up and install the Artist 12 and then gives an in-depth review of this display tablet compared to others, plus top critiques. The tablet is provided to me by XP Pen. Thank you! The Artist 12 comes with a manual, drawing glove and screen cleaning cloth, cables for the tablet, and an HDMI adapter for Mac computers, pen case with the pen, the pen stand, and eight extra tips. To switch the pen tip, you can use your fingernails or tweezers to pull out the worn tip out of the end and then push a new tip in. And last thing in the package is a USB power adapter with adapter ends for international power outlets. Remove the plastic wrap from the tablet. Peel off the plastic packaging protecting the monitor. The monitor has an anti-glare coating which works really well, I like that a lot. Now let's plug the tablet in. Take the cord with the red end on it and plug the L-shaped end into the tablet. Next, plug the HDMI end into your computer. If you don't have an HDMI port, use the white mini display port adapter and then plug that into your computer. Plug the black end of the USB cable into your computer. Turn the tablet on, the button is on the side. If the tablet doesn't turn on, this might happen for laptops, now we need to do the extra steps to give it more power. Take the red end of the USB pair and attach the extension cord to it. Put the extension cord into the square charger. Plug the charger into the wall. If you need an outlet type for a different country, just slide it onto the charger when it's in the down position. Now your tablet will turn on, so go ahead and press that button. You might have to press twice. Of course, it's not going to work right until we install the drivers, so let's do that next. First, uninstall any old tablets. Next, go to xp-pen.com download. Find your driver, this is for the Artist 12, and download. If you get stuck, you can find a more detailed manual here too. Extract all, then go into the folder and double click to install the tablet. Once it's installed, restart your computer. Now, very important or some art programs might not work. Right click on your desktop, choose display settings, scroll down, make sure displays are set to extend. Click the monitor that's your tablet and set applications to 100%. If you don't do this, you might experience something like your pen not matching up to the cursor in Paint Tool Sci. Last step is to go over the tablet settings. Click the icon in the system tray. On the right, you can choose which monitor your tablet's pen cursor shows on. I want monitor 2 in this case. Click display settings below that to change the color temperature of your tablet. The default settings for this were fantastic, so I left them, but this is showing some of the other options you have. If you're left-handed, click the button to rotate the tablet screen 180 degrees. Then physically pick up the tablet and rotate it. That'll get the buttons out of your way. The express keys button lets you program your shortcut buttons. Click the drop-down and choose function key to pick your keyboard shortcuts. Hit the dial tab to program the slider. The reason there are multiple options here is because you can set the bar to scroll, zoom, resize the brush, and so on. Then go to the keys tab and make one of the shortcut keys a KL, KR switch button. If you've done this, when you press that shortcut button, it will switch which mode the slider is on. So right now, mine switches between scrolling, press the button, zooming, press the button, and brush resizing. Also in tablet settings, change what the pen button does, adjust the pressure sensitivity, and save load your tablet's settings. If something isn't working, you can try checking the Windows Ink option on. Quick tip on the tablet underneath the power button are two buttons to quickly adjust brightness. It's a nice feature. With everything customized how you like, it's time to draw. The Artist 12 performed well in all of these programs, it probably does well in everything else. The only feature that might not work is the wireless pen's eraser end. While the eraser may work in one program, it might not work in another, works in Photoshop, doesn't work in Sci. 
Now, if you're programming savvy, there are places you can get third-party drivers that might fix that issue, but I can't give any advice on that because I've only ever used the manufacturer's drivers, and I don't know anything about homemade drivers other than that they exist. Regardless, you have to press hard to activate the pen's eraser on the Artist 12, and I don't really like that. I have the feeling it'll wear on the tablet's surface over time. After these short tests and the tablet was off, I could see where the eraser had been on the screen, though the marks were temporary and disappeared after wiping the screen with a microfiber cloth. XP Pen's digital pens are hexagonal to give more of a pencil feel, but honestly, I forget they're different because my brain doesn't register the difference when I'm absorbed in drawing. The one thing I do notice is the button is flush with the pen surface which means I lose track of where it is and I have to look at the pen while turning it to try and find the button. Not a big deal and more of a personal taste thing. You personally might prefer the flat button. My top critique for the tablet is its short pen distance sense. What I mean by that is compared to other pen display tablets, the pen had to be close to the Artist 12 for it to sense it was there. If this is going to be your first tablet, you're not going to notice this, but if you've used a few tablets, this one will take a short time to adjust to. You can't expect to make broad strokes while lifting your pen off the screen. It needs to stay on the screen. The Artist 12 is pretty small. Here's a phone for comparison. Based on my experience, this is the limit on computer drawing tablet size. Anything smaller and it'd be pretty hard to use. If you still want something smaller than this for whatever reason, I suggest looking into standalone tablets for drawing that are designed to be handheld and portable and not plugged into a computer. On the Artist 12, because you've got the drawing program set to 100% size, the buttons are tiny and once in a while you will click the wrong thing or accidentally drag a toolbar or a window around. Leaving your display settings above 100% helps with this but it means you won't be able to use certain programs like Paint Tool Sci. And one last critique, the scroll bar isn't as sensitive as I would like. I had to flick a lot to scroll a little bit. The literal scroll bar design is neat, but I find that the wheel design on some of XP Pen's other tablets is more efficient for the artist. I would still prefer to have this scroll bar though than just another button, so it's a feature I do like, I just think it's done better on some of the other XP Pen tablets. Overall, none of that stuff would stop me from buying the tablet. Of the tablets I've had, the XP Pen Artist 12 had the best out of the box experience with no need to customize screen settings, which I had to do with Huion and no oily screen underneath the removable screen protector like on the Gaumon tablet. The XP Pen 12 is also the only tablet that came with international power adapters. But unlike its competitors, the Artist 12 does not come with a protective travel sleeve or a tablet stand. You would need to buy those things separately. Just from how the XP Pen looks and feels though, I'd say the money for those accessories went into improving the quality of the tablet itself. The buttons and the pen don't feel as cheap as some of the competitors. If you can afford it, you might want to look into getting a bigger screen size. A screen with about 13.5 inches diagonal instead of the 12 inch diagonal of the Artist 12 is a great size that is still portable. So for a slightly bigger screen, I would say the Gaumon PD1560. And normally, I would also recommend the XP Pen 13.3, but from what I've heard from other reviewers, you probably want to go with the XP Pen 16. The 12 that I tried here today was an amazing experience, and if you want that same experience from the same company, skip the 13 and skip the 15, go to the 16 Pro. That'd be my suggestion. For more tablet reviews, go to scribblekibble.com or click the link below.